watching some fail videos. I'm gonna go do some uh, winterization on the RV this morning. My wife just got done making pancakes for all the kids. We got about an hour, so I gotta bring them to school, which is plenty of time to do a RV winterization. So let's go. Let's go get it done. Trash guys talking to the the puppy dogs at the end of the driveway. <laughs> See you in the lift. Let's get over here and go find a tripod so I can set it up and talk to y'all. Sitting here on the worm farm. Good morning. Garden going. Planted some seeds. We got some tomatoes growing. Some peppers. This is what we're here for. Handy dandy tripod. Okay. Let's go get you set up so we can winterize this trailer. Perfect. That'll make it easy. Can I hear that door? Yeah, wait. Okay. First things first, we need the antifreeze. Bitch. I have right here. I bought more than I needed. I didn't really know how much I needed. So I grabbed a few of them, or four of them rather, whatever that would be. A few is three or more, right? Grabbed a few of those. And uh, let me get you set up right here so we can see what I'm doing. So basically, now I gotta get, I gotta get the daggum key, let me go get it. Okay. Now, once you have your key, get your key, get an old hose. You can see this one got ran over. <laughs> it got used one time. One time. I'll probably have to cut this off to use it, but we'll see. Make sure you pick up your hoses before you back up on them because you will drive over them and they will be ruined. Lesson learned. Okay. Now. Show you. Inside here, you can see it says winterize bucket filler winterize we're literally just gonna screw in the hose to that right we're gonna stick the other end into our antifreeze and we'll turn the pump on and it's going to pull antifreeze into the trailer and then we will go inside run the faucets so that the antifreeze goes through it and you have winterized the trailer. That's how easy it is. There's no need to pay someone to do this when you can just do it yourself. I thought it would be like some hard process. No, it's not. It's not hard.
shove this end down in here. Should work. All right, let's try to pop on. Um, so to winterize, here, let me show you. It says here, to winterize lines, you gotta turn this one this way and both of these down. And that's it. We'll turn on the pump. Ugh. Well, if I can get the, the button to work. That's a, it's a tough old button. I need to replace that button. But let me set you up again. Set you up right here. So you can see what we're doing. Okay. Give me something to press that button. It's really hard. And just like that, you see it's drawing the antifreeze into the system. Sucking it right out of the bottle. That's all there is to it. We'll let it do its thing. Let's come take a look inside here. We'll take a look in here and see. You can see how it's pulling the antifreeze into the lines. And we'll go ahead and close this off. Why'd it turn itself off? You see that? What's that about? Hmm. Let's go look. Uh. What happened? Or is the line filled? Okay, well, let's go inside now. And we'll make sure that all the faucets have antifreeze in them. You wanna make sure that antifreeze gets into the, uh, you know, the little traps. I'm not sure what those are called. It's the U-shaped trap on the bottom. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. All right, let's look. Oh, goodness. Son left a bunch of cat food in here. Okay, let's see. Let's run the water. Hey, see that? Antifreeze. and water so we want to get all that water out we want it to be just pumping antifreeze for some reason the pump's off let's just diagnose this problem why is the pump off back on so the but the button took a Took a crap just now in the video, you saw it. So, the outside button needs to be replaced because it does no longer work. All right, we got antifreeze in that one. We'll let it go for a moment so it fills up the drain. I'll put some in the other side so that it fills up that drain. That one is winterized. We'll do the same for this. Let's open the hot water. Boom. Get the cold water. Boom. I'll probably need to go hook it up to another antifreeze. Let's go check. Let's go take a look. 
probably need to hook it up to another another bottle oh let's put the steps out so we don't blow our knees out okay <laughs> trying to blow my knees out this morning okay yep take a look we out of juice let's get the last bit out of that bottle Open up another one. Just shove it down in there. Like so. Voila. Alright. Oh, we can winter out of this one too. Let's look. The shower outside. Open. Come on. It's pulling from the, the bottle. So we're getting there. There we go, nice and pink from the hot. Get it nice and pink from the cold. That's nice and pink from the cold. Okay. Still got some in there. We'll go back inside. Check the sinks again. Do the toilet. Do the shower. And that's it. We will have successfully winterized the trailer once we've done that. All right. Shower. Turn the hot, and we'll just spray until it goes pink. There it is. And we'll go cold. As you can see, the trailer is not level, so I will go drop the front end a little bit so this will actually drain. It looks like we got pink from the hot and the cold, so the shower's good. Um, Check this one again, hot, cold, okay, and toilet. Are we pink? Good deal. Do a little bit more. Okay. All right, so I've been videoing for about 13 minutes. So in 13 minutes, I was able to set up my camera, go get the line, get the, get the keys, and winterize the entire trailer. Um, I only used, it looks like two bottles of antifreeze. I will pull the plug from the water heater, and that's it. She's good for winter probably pull the batteries out because they're brand new and i'll probably store them uh inside the garage on a tender for winter um but yeah that's it that's all she wrote two gallons of antifreeze was enough to get her to get her done i will pull this out see this little plug right here on the water heater that's all we'll do to get that And that'll drain um, this water heater out um, so there won't be no water in it. And uh, yeah, so when I pull that plug, all that water will come out. I'll make sure there's no pressure in there and that stays open. Um, yeah, that's it. You get the idea. Pretty simple. Let's go in here and turn that water pump up. I'm gonna see it running. Let me actually look in here. Look at the light. There we go. You can see the lines 
Um, are all... Well, these lines aren't. What are these? What are those? I hope they're just empty. Let's look. Uh, what does it go to? It goes to the sewer flush. Oh, so we're probably good. We're probably good on that, but yeah, you just want to make sure you got antifreeze on the line so they don't break in winter. And uh, I'll pull these batteries out. That's that. Alright guys, well, thanks for hanging out with me this morning while I winterized the RV. It is October 2nd. I was cutting it close. Cutting it close waiting this long, but we're okay. Um, nothing's broken. So I'll drain the water tank on the back. Actually, let's go do that right now. While we're talking about it, let's go do it right now. Um, it's literally just, see it, water drain, tank drain, water tank drain. So underneath here, little spigot, you see? Voila, we'll drain all that water out. There's another one under here. I don't have to, I don't have to get under there and reach it, but yeah, so I'll, I'll undo that. I'll go through, make sure all the, pour the rest of the remnants of these gallons into the drains and we'll be good to go. All right, y'all, talk to you soon. So if you open the plug, it makes it flow fast, but you gotta beware, you might get yourself. Ha! <laughs> I just pulled the plug. Open that, it makes it flow good. Otherwise it just gurgles, but. That's basically it. Once all the tanks have drained, I see back there, still trickling. She'll be fully winterized.